On Wednesday, June 10, 2020, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai took precious time from her intensive meditation retreat to speak to Supreme Master Television team members. During the conference, Master read fascinating entries and revelations from her diary on a variety of topics concerning her mission for the world and shared about her heartfelt feelings and conversations she had with Godsess of both the original universe and shadow world. One time I was so tired and I could not meditate very well that day. I said, sorry, I feel like I'm so lousy, so lazy, but my body really so tired. I don't know why. So the goddess told me, you are not lazy, you are not lousy. It's karma of the world that drag your body and mind to tiredness often. Not your fault. Heaven beings know your heart, know what you're doing. I don't always write grammatically, okay? <laughs> because I wrote only for myself to know, just to remember. I say thanks for loving kind words. Always feel I not do enough. So uh, they say, not worry, you will win. And the God of war and all that, God of info also, I thank them. And then he told me also, love will win. Wow. Wow. I said, tell me more about what love, which love. So quotation mark, yours, plus beings in the OU, yours, Kugasis. So uh, parenthesis, thanks infinitely and love infinitely. Master spoke about the many challenges from zealous demons that she has been facing while on her retreat to spiritually elevate our world and ease its troubles, including the COVID-19 pandemic. As she patiently answered some spiritual questions that followed, insights were revealed about her animal helper friends, along with stories of her anonymous charitable endeavors in Canada years ago, which got captured by the media at the time. Master also gave loving reminders to guide us on our spiritual path. If people repent, they go straight to heaven, just like that? This lifetime, yes, but not like that, like that. <laughs> <laughs> the God of the four level, I have made a, a, a request with him to, to take in these people, to be either his citizen or to, you know, transit for a while until I clean them up enough to go up, because these kind of people, they cannot just go straight up to, to Tim Kutu land, okay? So still still have some residues of karma, yeah? Bad karma, so sin and ego. Even on the fifth level, you still have 1% ego. Yes. 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 So I uh, request the, the Lord of the Four Level to take them in. And the Lord of the Four Level, of course, he can check who truly repents, who not. Oh, yeah. yes. You cannot just say, oh, I repent, I repent. and and kneel there and ask for forgiveness, and it's done. It's not like that. It has to be from the heart, truly repent, truly remorseful. And the, uh, my guardians, the Yosku Gossis, uh, also check them out, okay? Oh. So it depends. If they truly repent and remorse and truly want to go back to their original self, to their own self nature, to be near God, to know God more than they can. But not just say, okay, they repent and look like repentance. No, 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 no. Even the disciple also cannot, if the disciples make trouble for anyone or for me, they get punishment even worse. Yes. Because they know the right, but they do the wrong. Yes, yes Master. Master. Especially if they do wrong to the Master. But I forgive them and I try very hard. <laughs> to help them. But sometimes they have to undergo punishment. You understand? Yes, yes Master. For long or short, it depends on what they have in their heart. We always have to pray to the Almighty God, okay? And dedicate all our good and fellow to the Almighty, to ask Him to forgive our sins and give us liberation. New disciples, old disciples should all say this. Yes, Master. Recommend it by all you. <laughs> Before initiation and after initiation and uh, all the time. Hmm? Okay? And when we're working, we dedicate that to God Almighty as well, not us. Okay? Not that we do it. Like this, we can 
avoid karma, yeah? Yes, ma'am. Good or bad karma, we don't want. <laughs> our deepest gratitude to our most gracious master for her enduring and boundless unconditional love, mercifully granting repentant souls a path to true freedom and liberation during this lifetime. May Master be always shielded by the highest heavens and be blessed with much serenity, support and excellent health. We pray that all humans will wake up to your call of love and live benevolently so all beings may know joy and peace in God's embrace. For the full broadcast of this conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.